Hello guys, this is yet another video on Light LLM. And if you're following my channel, you might be aware by now that I am fascinated by this new technology, Light LLM, which enables us to use various models from various providers through simple API. We don't have to download the model. We don't need to create any expensive hardware with GPUs and all that stuff. We simply call an API to the model with our prompt and it returns us the response. That and with light LLM, you can also combine the output of various models and you can do some really good exception handling. There is a lot more to it and I have a separate video where I discuss it in detail and I'll drop the link in video's description. For this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that in one code, in one Python code, you can how you can use both a model from AWS Bedrock and also from Google's Palm API. So we will be using two different models from two different providers and we will integrate them through Light LLM. So let's see how that can be done. And I'll be running all of this on my local laptop without any GPU. So you don't have to worry about having expensive GPUs and all that stuff. Now, if you look at this code, what is happening here is that I have first imported this library. So make sure that you have Light LLM installed. You also have your um, AWS credential setup and there are a few other prerequisites and I explain them in great detail in my other video. And you should also install Google's generative AI um, library, which is simply Google generative AI pip install Google generative AI and that should be done. Let me also type the command here so that you won't get wondering. So this is the Google library which I was talking about. So all you need to do is to do pip install Google dash generative AI. And this should be done and I already have installed it. Let me show you pip show Google generative AI. So this is the Google generative AI I'm using. And as I mentioned earlier, you should be using the latest version of AWS CLI and you should have your AWS credential set. And if you are still lost, please watch my other video and I'll drop the link in video description. Okay. Um, so that's done. We have both Google and AWS credentials configured. Now, if you look at this code, we are importing this from Light LLM. And then first we are calling this Anthropic Cloud Instant V1, which is hosted at AWS Bedrock. And then we are asking it what is the capital of Australia and just return name of capital and nothing else so that it won't append a whole sentence. It will just return us the name of the capital city of Australia. And then we are storing that result in this variable result. And then in from at line number 13, now we are calling Google's Palm Chat Bison model. And we are asking that model, what is the name of state of this Australian city and then we are passing it the name of that capital which is stored in result. So the first AWS model is returning us the name of the capital and then the second model chat bison from Google is telling us what is the name of the state of Australian city. So in other words we are feeding the output of one model to as an input to the other model and then we are printing the result. So let me run it. So the command for it is simple Python because I'm running it locally. So let me run it. Let's see what happens. Should not take too long. So that's it. So you can see that what this is doing, it is simply telling us that this Palm model has written as the Australian capital territory, which is ACT spot on because Australia's capital is Canberra which was written in this result variable. And then it was passed as an input to here and we are only returning it the state. If I uncomment this and rerun it, then let's see what happens. It will also tell us the output of the first model. And then let's also print it. Let me run it. Let me first clear my screen. And now let's run it again. I'm calling the same program again. And now let's see what happens. There you go. So the first model, the AWS model has returned as the result Canberra, this one from line number four to seven. 
and then this Kenbra has been fed into this palm chat bison which has returned us the state which is Australian capital territory how cool is that and then sky is the limit here as this light LLM supports hundreds of models, literally from Hugging Face, from Anthropic, from Cohere, and from a lot of other places. Now, just imagine that if you have any domain specific large language model, you can simply knit that model, the output of that model into another, and then you can build a chain. So, one model is passing output to another model, and the other model is passing the output to another one. Because yes, there are some general purpose models, but then there are some domain specific models. Some models are good for coding, some models are good for text completion, some are good for summarization, and then the list goes on. Even, I mean, you could combine some uh, multi model models here. For example, if one model is generating a text output, you could send that text output as an input to another one, which may generate an image out of that from that text prompt. So you can imagine the possibilities here, which are huge. Okay, now let's, in order to complete the fun, let's knit together three different LLMs from three different providers with this light LLM. So it's the same program, first I am importing these libraries. The first is to a call to the AWS model, which is Anthropics Cloud Instant V1. And we are asking it, what is the capital of Australia? Just return the name of capital and nothing else. We are storing that result in AWS result. And then we are also printing it just to make sure what it is. Then we are making a call to Google's model, which is Palm Chat Bison. And we are asking it, what is the name of the state of this Australian city? And the city is the capital, which was returned by this AWS result and then third and then we are printing it and then thirdly what we are doing is we are calling the cohere model which is command nightly and we are asking this model what is the closest beach to this Australian state and we are passing it the return the result returned by the previous Google model and then we are printing it out so we are using three models with one software which is our light LLM okay let's run it and see how it goes so first it will be aws model it should return as canberra correct second is google model act which is correct australian capital territory third is cohere should tell us which beach is close closest to this act there you go it has given us which one now uh, there are several beaches Coleman ridge beach which is uh, located in ACC itself. Well, this is, well, how should I put it? This is literally correct uh, because, but this is not the ocean beach, but they have, if you read bit downward, it tells you that Batemans Bay located on the south coast, which is um, the ocean beach. But yes, the model is very intelligent. It has given us the beach. Maybe, maybe just uh, as a play, maybe I would ask it, um, Ocean Beach instead of the beach. Let's see if it returns me Batman Bay or still does the this uh, some sort of uh, lake beach or something like that. Cool man Ridge. Let me change it to closest Ocean Beach. Let's see what it does now. Let me clear the screen. Let me run this again. Okay, I think I made some mistake. Okay, let me fix it. Okay, I have found the error. The error was primarily that my token, uh, the credentials which I was using from AWS had expired. So I had to renew them because I'm just assuming a role instead of username, uh, permanent user key ID, just for the security purposes. So if you are using that token, make sure to update it. If you if you are using simple IAM user, then no need to worry about it. Okay, let me run it again. So again, Canberra, correct. SDT. Now let's see if it is able to do the ocean beach or not. You can see that I have given it the asking it the ocean. So but, uh, okay, it is difficult to say which exactly without a specific location in SDT. And there you go. So you can see that this time, um, amazing result because it is telling you that closest ocean beaches to SDT are located along the New South Southwest coastline. So it is they are not in SDT, but it has given us this Batesman Bay. 
and this is amazing uh, and then this Jervis Bay, Ladala and all that stuff. Um, amazing result, you can see that how cool it is to knit together output of one model to another, to another, to another, and then you can just chain it out and then you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, you can get one domain specific model to another, to another, to another, amazing stuff. So this is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and liked it. If you have any comments, please put it in the um, below the video. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.